Dr. Paul here. This to me is the grossest stuff actually on my channel. This is our compilation of abscess videos. You don't wanna miss any of this. Enjoy, I'm Dr. Paul. It's red, it's raised, it's a little white in the center. I think that's just because of the pressure. When I feel, I can feel this right out to there where my finger is. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is, this is gonna be fun. Take a second, because this stuff hurts. You wanna take your shirt off, maybe? No, that's fine. Do for him. Yeah, so it's time to tighten it out a little bit. Oh, is it? That's fine. It already had it. Ah, God. Yeah. Nice. Just kidding. <laughs> is right. it? Is it still just a tiny bit? No, it's like that much out. Are you serious? Yeah. You see it? You see it through the left? Is there a good amount out? Yeah, it looks like a tape. Two, like three inches around. <laughs> Take like three, four. Don't play with it. Oh. <laughs> I want to get a. I don't need a diaper. I think I'm good. Thing, right? a, <laughs> I want something to put it in when I put it out. All right. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Let's, oh. let's see. I wasn't joking when I said there's like eight <laughs> feet in there. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, Christ. take a look at that. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Alright. You look like one of those guys who's ready for that commercial, like you quit cigarettes and now you smoke that. I have to plug the hole when I get in the shower. So, that's quite an impressive hole there. I'm gonna get a little betadine and just clean the edge of that wound. All right. Oh. This is just brown soap, right? Oh, that's the case. Is that okay? <laughs> Does that hurt? No. Third time. And we're just gonna try to kind of keep that area clean and move around it. You're doing great? <laughs> you feeling all right? Oh yeah. All right. Really just go in and put a little numbing medicine. You'll feel a pinch. You felt a pinch, I imagine? Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh no, that was easy. And then maybe you're feeling a little sting? A little bit. So for the viewers, you can see the rising pressure underneath. So it, you can tell this lidocaine is getting all around. Yeah, now I can see it's totally blanched. All right, that was the hard part. <laughs> you did good. Just going to, you feel that? Good. All right. So you didn't feel that, that's good, you're numb. So we're gonna use a number 11 blade because it's got the sharp tip. We'll just go in with a sharp little blade. Open that up. Now, do you feel anything when you did that? Nothing. All right, so, yeah, you can see this a little bit of pus on the end of that swab, so it's definitely Got some pus, that's plenty for culture purposes, and I'm gonna just squeeze out the rest. So we're just going to push out that pus. Does that feel all right? Great. Okay. So I'm gonna just wipe that excess pus off. Give it a little bit more. I think it's been stuck there. Like you said, you've had this for a long, long time. At least a year. One last little wipe and we're good. Sounds good. Um, as far as I know, it got big and then just stayed there. Stayed there? Okay. I don't remember that long. So folks who are watching, you can see what, when I test an abscess, I feel for softness and that's quite soft, which means it's ready for draining. If it's rock hard, 
All you'll get is blood when you try to drain an abscess that's hard as a rock. Dr. Paul here, we're gonna get a quick cutaway to tell you that this video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. We're gonna get you right back to that abscess. There's more to see. This is a program that will allow you to get labs done in your own home. They send it to you, it's discreet, and then a doctor will review these labs, a nurse will get back to you. I've used this program for my own testing, and I just wanted you to have this opportunity. Parents, grandparents, you can actually now have control of your own health by testing the labs that matter most to you. There's a men's panel, a woman's panel, there's vitamin panels, definitely get your vitamin D checked, hormone levels if it, if it applies to you, and take advantage of this special service. We have a 20% discount using the discount code of Dr. Paul 20 so you get 20% off the entire order so order as much as you can with that first order and you're helping our channel thanks I'm dr. Paul back to your abscess so that one should be just perfect to drain and is great for sort of preparing wounds surgeons do this they yeah, I guess so. Ouch. sorry you are so good at staying calm buddy Oof. You are so good at staying calm, buddy. Oof. You are super tough. I'm gonna be a, oh wow. Oh <laughs> wow. I'm gonna be excited to watch this. Yeah, I'm this, in. This will be exciting to watch. I probably wanna go on the other side. I don't know. Sorry. Hang in there, bud. Oof. So we got most of it drained it's down. down. It flowed Very beautifully. Tender. Sorry. Now it's tender. Tender now, yeah, because we're getting towards the base of it. Mm. Hang in there, bud. Hang in there. Mm. There's the last of it. You got this, bud. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my swab. Let me get new gloves. How you doing, Mom? Did you see all that? I'm glad you're sitting. <laughs> that came out of his ear, but it's gone way yeah, down. Yeah, now it's like almost nothing almost back there. Almost looks normal. Just about, just about done. So we're just going to actually just see if we can swab this from here. Oh. Sorry. That's about done. We'll take some off of here. You want to check that out? We're just getting some. That's plenty of yuck. Plenty of yuck. We're just gonna stick it in here. Dr. Paul, you sure do make a mess. And we'll send that off to culture. All right. So, folks, you can see that that's gone way down. And I'm, I'm really just gonna get a little. I think I'm gonna go grab a little mupirocin to put on there. What's mupirocin? It's an antibiotic ointment. <laughs> Uh, let's put that there. You already put the mucus on it? Not yet. Oh. Not like the abscess did. It's just oozing out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. So, when you're dealing with abscesses, you've got pus under pressure, infection that's, you know, kind of coming together, and the best way to heal an abscess is to drain it. And this one's draining naturally, which is fortunate. You see these marks were put at the urgent care just to make sure this other redness that's around this is called a cellulitis. That's a tissue infection. And if that was to keep spreading, we would know that we're not on the right antibiotic. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure we're on the right antibiotic because it wasn't really getting better till it drained itself starting last night or this morning. So we'll see what the culture shows. Most abscesses that are starting from the skin are actually staph, but they can be strep, and in young children there can be other organisms that can cause this. What the heck happened here? So about a week, a week ago, I noticed a, a lump for me on my knee, and it, it, it was about the size of a half dollar, and it was just a little red, and I thought it was an ingrown hair, and so I, I popped it. Okay. And there was a little drainage out of it. All right. And then... So this, you didn't have an injury here? No. It just a lump started forming? Yep. That is quarter size, yellow oozing pus. Stay right there. Keep that camera rolling. I am going to get a culture of that. And 
send that off to see what the heck is going on here. So this is a swab and oh, look at that guys. That is just full of juicy, oh, look at that. No way, look at that. That's a deep old hole there. Okay, we're gonna put that in a vial and send it off for culture. And um, that is gnarly. Wow, okay. Um, has anybody dug into that at all? No. No? It just, just popped it. Okay. That is something else. So I'm gonna get some gloves on. And you popped it open when? Uh, about six days ago. Six days ago. And, and that was the first time. And then it got better. And then uh, it started to uh, come back. And so I went and popped it again. And it got better. How did you pop it? I just squeezed it, kind of like you're doing now. Okay. Does that hurt? A little bit, but not bit. much. So for our viewers, we've got redness around here. So you've got this quarter sized wound that's open, which is good that it's open by the way. I'm glad you popped it because mm -hmm. that released the pus. But if the, if the infection gets into the tissue, like we're seeing this redness spreading here and here, then we worry that it's gonna need oral antibiotics at the very least. Very rarely you would actually need IV antibiotics. Like we're gonna obviously put you on antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And if that's not working, then you might have to actually get antibiotics in your vein, IV. Ooh.